a lot of people think for, for you to do farming you need to have a lot of money some people say i'm not going to do this because i've got no money some people say i'm not going to do the farming because i've got no land well it's, it's not like that hi i'm the mad farmer from Shpangari district deep down in the village of eastern province welcome to my programs i'm somebody who's so passionate about agriculture be it animal or crop production well today i thought i thought about talking about a few things which you need to know let me talk about land preparations because i know we are nearing to uh, the rain season where we are supposed to do the farming and stuff like that well last season here in zambia we had a disaster let me say we had a dry spell or call it a drought where most people made losses however it's not everyone that made losses and what were the causes of some people not managing to scavenge the route they could well it was because of a lot of factors one of the things is poor methods of agriculture most people don't want to learn they're not flexible farming has evolved a lot of things have changed a lot of things have changed well one of the things that have changed is the way you do your planting be it sunflower be it maize be it soybeans you can name it a lot of things have changed what has changed in this issue in this in, in, in this case i'm talking about how you do your farming you may discover that everyone when they want to plant means they want to do ridges even in areas where it has poor rainfall pattern for example in my region region 2 and uh, region 3 what i'm talking about i'm talking about uh, southern province i'm talking of eastern province i'm talking of lusaka central uh, western province these are some of the districts here in zambia where we need to reduce on doing your ridges. Why am I saying so? They dry up fast. So the, here is the thing. The best thing to do is, like you can see, you do your tractor in. Okay, it has plowed your land or it has done whatever it has to do. Okay, don't make those ridges. Because they dry up quickly and then we don't have enough rains. Okay, so what do you do? You just do the plowing and then you just plant. What am I trying to explain? What I'm trying to explain is, just like you are seeing, there are no ridges here. Okay, but we did the plowing and the disking and stuff like that. Okay, so what you need to do? What you need to do is get your rope, do the measurements. Of course, we know that maize is 80 to 90 centimeters in between the ridges. Okay, or in between the rows. So you, you get your tape, you measure. Okay, this is 90 centimeter in between. You, you actually put a rope and then you do your measurements. I know with maize sunflower it's 30 centimeters between stations. You do that. Okay. After doing that now, you actually make those holes. Here where I come from, we call it gamhani. Okay. Where you make those holes and then you plant. What are we trying to do? What we are trying to do is to harvest the water. Because what is going to happen, no matter how little the water or the, the rains come, you still harvest a little bit of water. By the time that pond is drying up, another downpour would have occurred. So by so doing, you will discover that you will have a good harvest because your maize or your field or where you planted will always be moisturized. Because from where we are coming from, our forefathers have always done the ridges. So we feel or we think ridges is the only way to go, but no. Especially with this climate change, we less encourage the reaping. Okay, conservative farming. These are some of the things which we can take advantage and do it. You will discover that you have a good harvest. Why? You still have the moisture in your soil, in your, in your field. Thank you so much for watching my program. If you've enjoyed it, if you've got any queries, please feel free to get in touch with me. 
0977-851196. For those that are outside Zambia, you can add our country code is plus 260. Our country code is plus 260, then 977. 851196. Send me that text message. Send me that WhatsApp message. And then we can pick it up from there. When you send that message, please go straight to the point. Hi, my farmer, how are you? Then you explain your problem or you explain whatever you want to do. And like saying, Hi, how are you? We spend most of the time greeting each other. And then sometimes we just have a traffic of messages coming through. So we always appreciate to do it. But if you want to invite us on your farm, wherever you, you are, we can actually follow you. We can actually negotiate. We come and do the consultation. We do everything for you. And then we can even train your workers. We can train you. You can train your workers and stuff like that. And then, boom, you'll be smiling. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.